This is a quick run through of the controls on the Vicera Vision combination boiler. First thing I'll do is power up. The boiler will go up for a, a start up procedure. C followed by a number. That number, in this case zero, represents the number of hours the boiler has spent in condensing mode. The numbers will rise to 25, which represents 2,500 hours. So when the boiler has spent 2,500 hours in condensing mode, an alarm will flash and the boiler will be saying, I need a full service. That will um, be between an estimated four and seven years. Intermediate services are gas rate, flue gas analysis, uh, vision inspection, clean the condensate trap. The five that followed um, the zero represents a software number, uh, so the version of the software that's on the boiler. The three zeros are flashing when the boiler is going through its con um, purge mode. Purge mode lasts two minutes after which the boiler will operate normally. Purge mode is really just to get rid of the air that might be um, in an empty boiler. Um, controls on the front of the boiler. This is the hot water control selector. So the user can use that to select the temperature of hot water they want from the boiler, plus also the preheat facility. Preheat means the boiler will keep itself warm all the time so that the time it takes to get hot water to the tap is the minimum. About half, you can reduce by half the time it takes to get hot water from opening the tap uh, to it coming out hot if you use preheat. But of course preheat works 24-7 so the boiler is always keeping itself warm so it's um, a choice the consumer has to make whether they want to save money or save time. I'll show you how to set preheat in a minute. This selector here is where the, where the user can choose the um, mode the boiler operates in. If the selector, purge is just finished, if the selector is turned down one click, the boiler will operate in summer mode, so radiators are off. If the uh, selector is turned up, I'll quickly turn it back off again because the boiler will fire. This selector is used when you decide what temperature you want the uh, boiler water to enter the heating system. Usually people will set it about 75 degrees. Oh, and if you see when, the, when it's actually moved, it will actually tell you on the display what the target temperature is. The hot water selector will do the same. So as you adjust the hot water selector, it's, it, it is informing you what your target temperature will be. When the hot water is running, it will display the delivery temperature. If you do want to go into um, preheat, operate preheat, take the hot water selector to maximum, there will be a stop. But force it past the stop and back. P is enabled and P represents uh, preheat. So the boiler will run just enough to keep itself warm 24-7. If you don't want to use preheat and you want to cancel it, take it to maximum, force it past and back, and now um, preheat's disabled. A few other features. The buttons on the right hand side of the display clock symbol, program symbol, up and down arrows. We can set the clock in this manner, press and hold the clock button for three seconds until the clock appears, minutes are flashing, press the up button you can adjust the minutes to the time of day, once you've set minutes press clock again Hours are flashing, pressing the down button or up button it changes the hours, 
when you set the minutes and hours presser plot button again and you'll notice a small cursor appears or flashes underneath 1 to 7 above the time icon. Now we can tell the boiler what day of the week it is. So let's say today is Wednesday, or I'll go round again, Wednesday. When we've done that, we've set the day to Wednesday, press clock, clock is set, boiler's gone back into standby. To set the heating on off times, it is a seven day programmer. So each day can be set differently. To set the heating on and off times, press and hold P and hold it until the display changes and PRO appears. And now I hope you can see there's a cursor flashing at midnight. There are some blank spaces, some blocks, some blank spaces and some blocks. Each of the blanks is a period when the boiler isn't, the timer isn't calling for heat. Each of the blocks is where it is. If you want a off period, press the down button and that enters an off period. If you want an on period, let, we've got to 3 a.m. Let's say you, you want an on period at 3 a.m. Everyone only knows why, but if should you want an on period at 3 a.m., press the up button and that will enter a block. Each block is one half of an hour. So off on the down button, on on the up button, off, moving forward half an hour each time, on. But if you notice we've only set day one. Pressing P once We'll set the clock again to midnight, but we're entering a different. We can enter a different set of times for day two. Now you can enter a completely different set of times, in the same way as we set day one, or you can copy day one settings to day two by pressing and holding P until the display changes. Done. Well, if you've copied day one to day two, you want to move to day three. Press P once more. So 3 is indicated with the flashing icon beneath the 3, press and hold P, and you've copied day 2 to day 3. Work your way along the week, day 4, day 5, day 6, day 7. When you've finished, the last press of P brings you back to uh, the standby screen. If you want to enable uh, central heating by turning the heating selector to on. There are three modes in which the uh, boiler clock will work. Let's do that. Let's turn it on. Auto on means the boiler will work on the times entered in the display. Press P and when the boiler is firing a little radiator symbol will appear. Press P when the boiler is firing also the uh, flame symbol appears, I'm sorry, the radiator symbol appears because it's supplying central heating. Press P and it's manually on, it means that boiler will stay on all day until midnight. Press P again, it's manually off, no heating, no hot water. Uh, sorry, no heating, hot water is unaffected. A few other um, helpful, couple of helpful tips. If you've made a mess of the times and you want to reset the clock back to default settings, press the up and down arrow buttons and hold until RES appears. The clock is now reset to its factory default settings. One last thing that might help an engineer, press and hold the down arrow button for seven seconds. And the boiler will scroll through the last five faults. It won't date, this boiler's only had one. It won't date them or time them, but it will tell you the last five faults on the boiler. Nice and straightforward and simple. Thank you very much.